Okay, so now that we've opened up Tableau, we're going to try to uh, create a map. So I'm going to go to uh, Microsoft Excel that's here under connect. And then I'll look for my graph that I downloaded onto my computer. So we have provisional COVID-19 death counts in the United States. So that's opening. Okay, so now we have um, this worksheet here. Um, we can see our provisional COVID-19 death counts is up here. Um, if it's not up here, you may have to drag it up here. But right now everything's looking good. Um, and we'll click on sheet one. You can double click this to rename it. Although you can name it at a later point as well. I'm going to name it map underscore COVID-19. Okay. And then on the data pane over here, um, underneath tables, you're going to go to state. So you can either right click this, or you can just um, hover over it and then click this drop down. Because if you click on it, it'll, you know, make, it'll go to something where you can change the name, but if you don't want to do that, you can just right click or click on the drop down. So um, from there you go to create, and then you go to calculated field, and we're going to, in the upper box type country, and then in the lower box type United States. And then you see that country appeared here. And now we're going to right click on this and go to geographic role and we'll make that country or region. Okay. And then now we'll move on to our next step. So in the marks pane right here, we're going to change this to map after clicking on the drop down. And then we're going to click and drag country and state to the middle of the page. So country and state. Then you should have this longitude generated and latitude generated appear. Then you're going to drag, drag um, deaths involved in, involving COVID-19 to um, label of the marks pane. So you see how it, it grays out here after you drag over it. Um, and then you'll drag state over the label as well. And then you'll drag deaths involving COVID-19 to color. And then you should have um, five options total right down here. Um, and then you'll drag, okay, so we did that. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is click on colors in the marks pane. So we click here, edit colors. We're gonna go to the drop down here and find red, blue diverging and then check on reversed, click apply, click okay. So now we have our color scale. And then next we're going to create a map with spatial data. So um, we're going to try to select a group of states. So we're gonna select um, California, Texas, Florida, and New York. And we will um, use control to select all of these at the same time, so California, Texas, Florida, New York. And then we will right click and go to group and we'll do state country. And then this will create this county, country and state group for you 
and on the data pane. So then after we do that, we're going to right click, go to edit group. Then we're going to rename these two categories. So the first one has the four states that we selected. We're going to rename that by right clicking. We're going to rename it more fatal than for the other. We'll rename it less fatal. And then the field name, we're going to change to more slash less fatal. Then we'll hit um, apply and okay. And now after this, you can see um, more or less fatal has come underneath the data pane. So now we're going to drag it to the filters pane. So filters is over here. Um, select apply and okay. And then we're going to, so then we're gonna also remove it from the marks pane because we don't want it there. So just kind of move that to the side. And we're going to drag deaths involving COVID-19 to color on the marks pane. So here we go. We see it grayed out. Um, and now we will continue on to um, our next step. So we're gonna go ahead and copy, come down to our sheets and copy, make a copy of um, this map. So we will duplicate it by right-clicking on it and we'll rename it to um, map underscore COVID-19 underscore death rate. Okay, and so after that, we're gonna go to the data pane and click on deaths involving COVID-19. We're gonna right click, go to create, and then we're gonna create another calculated field from the dropdown. And then we're gonna type um, death rate. Yes, great, COVID-19 to all causes in the top box. And in the bottom box, we're going to write, we're going to type sum of death and COVID-19 divided by sum of deaths from all causes. And we're gonna get okay. So we'll hit apply okay. So now we've created um, death rate COVID-19. You see it pop up in the on the data tab. So now we're going to um, we're going to go to the data pane and drag death rate COVID nineteen to all causes to color, and then we'll also carry it to label. Okay, and then now for our next step, we're going to create a cross tab. So we're going to copy our death rate sheet. So we're going to right click, go to duplicate as cross tab this time. And then we're going to rename it table COVID-19. OK, 
Okay. Now we're gonna drag we're gonna drag um, deaths involving COVID nineteen up to the columns. We're gonna drag deaths from all causes up to the columns, and we're going to drag death rate up to columns. And then in the bottom, we're going to drag county name to rows. And then we're, we will remove um, the other things that are that were there before. So like just remove, you can right click to remove them as well. So you can either drag them off or right click to remove them. Okay, so I went backwards to show how you can right click to remove these instead of dragging them off. So right click, remove, remove. So we should have our different um, sums and our aggregate measure that we created and then state. So then after this, we click on show me up here in the top right and we're going to make a table. Okay, so now we're gonna create a dual axis chart. So we will right click on or we'll create a new worksheet. We'll call it dual charts COVID-19. Yes. Um, okay, so then we're gonna drag deaths involving COVID-19 onto columns and then death rate COVID-19 onto columns. And then for rows, we're going to drag state. Okay. And then we're going to come to our marks pane and click on sum of deaths involving. Once we do that, we're going to go to the drop down and select bar. Then you're going to drag, go to the data pane and drag um, deaths involving onto the label of the uh, marks pane. And then for, um, you're gonna also click on the aggregate death rate and you'll click on the drop down and find shape. This new shape category will pop up. You can select a shape that you want. And then you will drag um, death rate onto label. So death rate here, we'll drag it onto label. Okay, so something that I forgot to do was to create the dual axis. So we're gonna come up here to the aggregate death rate and we'll right click and come down and select dual axis. Okay, so I went all the way back to when I added the sum and aggregate in columns and stay in the rows. Um, now I'm gonna go, I went, I've gone back to do the on dual axis step. So right click on this, ag this aggregate death rate, select a dual axis, and then um, we'll do our other steps again. So I'm gonna come to sum, select it, go to bar, and then um, drag, that's involving onto label. And then I'm going to click on aggregate, go to shape and then drag death rate onto label. Okay, so now we're going to 
move forward with creating an interactive dashboard by combining our sheets. So come down to the bottom of the page in your sheets and select the new dashboard option. Um, you can name it um, the assignment name or whatever you're supposed to name it. And so I'll just put Okay, and then now you can drag the sheets. So sheets, the sheets that you created, created have shown up here. So you are going to drag them onto the middle of the page. There's one. Okay, so there are three charts, for example. Um, and then you will Um, if you want to add interactivity into your sheets, you can click on any one of the charts. So let's click here. You can right click on this funnel and you can um, select any of these options down here. And then you can also come up here to do the same thing. So this is, um, it says when you hover over it, when you hover over it, you'll have um, hide cards, show cards, or show cards, hide cards, as you see there. And then to publish, you go file, save to Tableau Public. Okay, so name it whatever you're supposed to name it. If you're already logged in, you can um, come to your visualization and find and copy and paste the link up here. And this is what you're going to submit for your class.